It's windy out here today, but it's pretty nice. Went to my local auto parts store, just for shits and giggles. But I have here, made in Taiwan. Can you guess what they are? Coils. Two of them. Got quoted from the Honda shop, a hundred twenty-seven ninety-five or so for them. Tried to order them offline. Pretty much a scam artist job over at Al Snowmobile. They're re decently priced, but they kept sending the wrong ones. Finally, I just went to my local auto parts store, found the set of them, both of them, for fifteen dollars. It was the last set they had, and they had been sitting there for five years. It's like the last coils in Manistique, Michigan. The problem with finding coils for this machine was, this is a Kawasaki motor. Somebody put this motor in this machine before I got it, and it was not original equipment. They actually put this motor in as aftermarket. So every time I tried to or order coils for it, they kept giving me the wrong ones or they're outrageously priced. It turns out these are fairly common and pretty cheap. <laughs> so we've got coils now, and I'll actually do a formal installation video for the Jag here. It's pretty cold out here so I made this quick. I already took out the other bolts, loosened up the bottom ones. I'm only going to put in the two bolts. I'm not really going anywhere. And they should uh, stay in there. Pretty good. I can actually remount these somewhere else. Maybe I'll do that later. But for now I'll just deal with them where they're at. Forty coils can go back with the Jag 240. Alright, we got the bolts out of the coils. And they be. There's my ghetto temporary wiring system. We're gonna cut all that out, remove the coils, and set up our ignition boots. And then we'll bring them back out here and install them. We have coils removed. Well, here they are, taken out of the box. I matched this one up to the old coils, not the 240, but the 340 coils that I had on there originally. And they match up perfectly, bolt hole wise. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it there matching up. Good enough for my application. They're the same size, and they even came with the damn wire for the spark plug. All I gotta do is change out the boots. Could have used some new boots, but eh, I'm too cheap for that. After a little bit of finagling, I got the boots disconnected from the old wires. The new wires are already attached. Just gotta splice them in there, attach the boots, and then reattach it to the snowmobile and do the wiring which is already there. All I gotta do is plug and play. Alright, got my coils back together, got the brand new ones on, they're ready to be installed and wired into the snow machine. Here we are back out the sled, I'm going to reattach these coils. I'm just going to be finger tightening them in, and I'll clamp them down when I got them wired in correctly. There's the second one. Second coil in. Slide this guy down here. Just to hold her in place. And do the wiring. This fit nice. Perfect fit. This goes to the red wire. Steam them together. There's on there. Quick connect. Jam that in there. Just start first. Jam this in there. Make sure they're all touching and really close together. 
gonna take your dikes, squeeze them together carefully not to break. Just want to squish it for a firm connection, nice and strong, and plug her in. I'm gonna go for the long one. Short one's on there. Now we got this last connect. This guy to that guy. And we'll twist it together. Make sure it goes all the way down in seats. Get this wire. Twist him up. And once again, squeeze them together with your dikes. Careful not to cut through. Think. Our last connection here. There we go there. Twisty tie this one. Squeeze the boot on there. Make sure it locks down. Then this wire. We should have enough form to connect here. There, and the last wire. Heel nose. All right, we're all consumed tight. We have coils installed, wired, locked down and tightened. There it is out there, all ready to go. Got the coils in it, got it wired right. Time for a startup and test drive. Looks like the dead piece of shit is not such a dead piece of shit and it's ready to ride. Let's give her a test drive. Wish me luck. Thank you. 